Today, we'll talk about retrograde planets, right? In this video. And uh, see, on retrograde planets, I have done a webinar. And almost in every topic, there is some course or webinar is there. And one thing I will want to make very clear to you that if you are wanting to have knowledge, then content given in courses and webinar is very high. Something, you know, that I will never present on YouTube, right? A premium content is a premium content. You have to understand it. On the other hand, if you are looking for answers, my videos aim to teach astrology. I'm not much concerned with personal horoscopes of people and personal questions that is there in the comment section. So if you want me to guide on your horoscope, you will better have to go through consultations rather than asking questions in the comment section, which I will not answer at all. Right. So keeping these two things very straight for the learning purpose, understanding purpose, because my purpose of making video is to give better knowledge of astrology to people. And if needed, dispel the ignorance, if that is there, right, that's my purpose. That's my target. So today we talk about retrograde planets many times. Earlier also I have talked about it. Some new things regarding retrograde planet, new perspective is what I am going to discuss in today's video. Right. But uh, what happens in today's astrological world? I, I will start with a small joke to you. Right. If you can understand that it is a joke. Right. So you see retrograde planets in Hindi is called Vakri planet. Now, in the world of astrology, many people are there who cannot take the name properly. See, an engineer not being able to spell engineering parts is all fine, right? It is not an intellectual, uh, it is not an intellectual profession as such. But a professor, a teacher is not able to pronounce words properly is a problem. Of course, you know, sometimes problem in the problem in pronunciation can happen, but every time it is happening is uh, a severe concern, right? So uh, retrograde planets also known as Vakri planets. If someone do not know how to pronounce it properly, they will call it as Bakri. No, Bakri. No, Bakri in English will mean goat. And nowadays in this Gen G, goat means greatest of all time. So nowadays astrologers are lying now because Vakri planet they cannot pronounce Vakri planet. They will say it is Vakri planet and Vakri in English will mean goat and goat in millennial language is greatest of all time. So people assume that if you have a retrograde planet, you are the greatest of all time. Right? This is a joke. And then because Bakri or the goat will say me, me, you know, this type of sound that they will make and me means me. So Vakri, people having Vakri planet are also self-centered. Thus, in this way, the astrology of YouTube is hence completed. You get a master's course and you get a master's degree in YouTube astrology on predicting how to predict retrograde planets, right? Jokes about retrograde planet, as we have discussed earlier, is a powerful planet, right? This planet is having Cheshta Bal. Cheshta, if you have to understand Cheshta, when we were student, my mater patern maternal grandfather used to tell me a couplet. Kaga Cheshta Vako Dhyanam Swan Nidra Alabahari. These are the traits of a student. Kaka Cheshta. Means activities like crow. Kaka means crow. Activities like crow. You see crow never trust anyone. Crow hardly sleeps. These traits like crow should be there. Kaka Cheshta. Focus like a crane. Like you see a crane wanting to catch a fish is very focused on the fish. So focus like a crane. Sleeping, swan means dog. Sleeping like a dog. You know, dog easily, quickly wakes up. So sleeping like a dog, alapahari, and eating less food are the traits of a good student. Here comes the word cheshta. Kaga cheshta. Like crow. Trends, behavior, character like crow. And retrograde plant is Chishta Bali. So the person have traits like retrograde plant. Now, see, the nature, behavior, character of the person, we believe that it is like the planet who is influencing the ascendant. However, ascendant is personality, identity, identification. Not necessarily nature, behavior, trait of the person. 
in my understanding i have found that the nature behavior trait etc of the person person being sattvic rajas tamas any quality in nature behavior is as per the planet who is most powerful in shadbal that is one principle but because cheshtaval comes from retrogression cheshtaval comes from many other factors also retrogression of one of it and because we are talking about retrogression today i my focus will be retrogression because this cheshtaval comes from retrogression in the horoscope where there is a retrograde planet you will see that the person have the nature behavior character of the retrograde planet itself so saturn retrograde person can be lazy indolent not doing things etc venus person can be sexual seeking luxuries wanting to be into relationships etc jupiter retrograde person is intelligent want to get knowledge want to teach preach guide people mercury is retrograde person wants to show his intelligence great learning is there person is good in mathematics very much interested in finances etc mars is retrograde person can be very aggressive short tempered fighting you know want to get high position status in life because mars is in commander in chief and these results are there so whichever planet is retrograde that planet gives his nature behavior character to the native in a very strong manner in a very strong character is what should be understood in the first go now if more than one planets are retrograde in horoscope then the trait of all the planets are there so the person's personality is a mix of different attributes that is one thing second thing is sometimes the traits can be contradictory for example saturn and mars both are retrograde so mars wants everything to be done very quickly saturn is a lazy planet right or you say venus and jupiter both are retrograde venus is the teacher of devas uh, venus is the teacher of demons jupiter is the teacher of devas so contradictory qualities they will put in native and because of this contradictory qualities person can be confused ignored unable to take decision at right point of time and because of this inability can lose many opportunities in life this is another prediction that should be made right so these two things you have to understand right retrograde planets give their quality prominently to the native and if there are more than one retrograde planet in horoscope and they somehow have contradictory tendencies to each other then the person will have contradictive you know contradictory nature behavior in prominence in their character because of which there can be confusion in the life of the native as well in decisiveness confusion whatever you say these things will be there right that is one thing that you have to understand point 1 right now retrograde planet is powerful planet we confuse between a powerful planet and a positive planet retrogression gives power but it does not give positivity to planet a planet in exaltation on rashi mool trikon varguttam is a positive planet and powerful planet however a retrograde planet is not a positive planet it is only a powerful planet a prominent planet this is something that you should understand so how do you decide that this retrograde planet is a good planet or not for that you see the rashi occupied by this retrograde planet if this retrograde planet it is exalted mool trikon varguttam so rashi this exalted planet is positive also good result giver as well this good result will be there with respect to the natural significations of the planet and house lordship of the planet for example if seventh lord is retrograde and exalted etc then in that particular scenario good life good wife good enjoyment from marriage right financial and other type of gains from the spouse etc will be the case so planet will become positive in these conditions and retrogression will increase the power right see the planet is exalted so he is already powerful and he became retrograde he gets even more power he gets cheshtaval very very good apparently i am also saying that this particular concept that exalted retrograde behaves like debilitated and uh, debilitated retrograde behaves like exalted is a useless nonsensical concept if you think that some rishi have said it that person whoever have said it such nonsensical principle should not to be told as a rishi right i know that it is written in some classic i know that i know it i know it better than you right the point that i am making that this is a vichep shloka that must have crept in the classic and should not be a part of the classic right you understand what is vichep shloka you don't understand Good. it is a shloka that is crept in the major text while copying 
in earlier times which does not belong to the original author but is added by someone else and other person who have copied the text later on not realizing that this is a comment by the reader and not by the author in his copy have wrote both the shlokas together arising the confusion that we face today this is called vichep shloka coming back to the point so this concept is fantastic retrograde planet in inimical rashi debilitation rashi etc and when you are talking about the positivity and other good attributes of the planet you also have to check the navamsh right a planet retrograde planet who is in inimical rashi debilitation rashi etc is a negative planet right so this planet though prominent is negative so the planet will give prominent negative result for example you say venus is in this i will put two things before i take the example a planet in a friendly rashi is told to be a good planet but you say debilitation rashi is one good rashi is exalted own rashi rashi is a two so exaltation own rashi two mul trikon is either the exaltation rashi or own rashi of the planet so exaltation own rashi is two Vargottam is also a good condition. Three con good conditions. In respect to that, bad condition is only one debilitation. If you if you say that combustion and planetary war is also a bad condition, they are astronomical conditions, right? Not Rashi based conditions. So keeping in mind that good conditions are three and bad conditions are one only. This planet in a friendly Rashi, though it is taken as a good rashi for planet but the good result is only 50% 65 60% which is more or less a mixed result so in practice i believe what i have seen that because a planet in friendly rashi is not very significantly good should be considered as a mediocre planet only not very power, not very positive as such is mediocre because the result is good and bad mix so planet in inimical rashi is bad debilitated planet is bad and a planet in friendly rashi is mediocre should not be considered as good right that is one thing another point is because i have also told you to check navamsh along with the rashi chart if there is a contradiction you will give preference to navamsh for example debilitated planet in rashi chart exalted in navamsh because of exaltation in navamsh the result is fairly good because the planet is exalted in navamsh debilitated in rashi if the planet becomes exalted in navamsh does the debilitation of rashi completely disappear so certainly it does not disappear so the result of exaltation in navamsh the planet giving good result will certainly come but because the planet is debilitated in rashi initially the person will struggle with respect to the significations of the planet later on the significations will improve so the result of namam shu say is more psychological more at mental level more at happiness misery level or the namam shu result is something which manifests later on and in just one single line i have given you greatest secret of namam shu you don't believe it that does not matter but anyone who have practiced astrology for more than 40 45 years will understand how great this secret is right so be very careful of the things i am telling you because over time you see i do consultations i even to those people who are practicing astrology for 30 35 40 45 years and they generally compliment me on this thing that sir you have told one single line in your video in your course and that has changed our complete outlook of astrology the outlook that you have given the answer that you have given i was finding till 40 50 years in my practice of astrology unable to find you gave the answer that's the prime reason right why i put such things that is the prime reason why i am saying that i am making the videos to guide people because some people really get benefited right and you can also be the person who is really getting benefited provided the fact you are listening carefully to what i am saying right this is the basic thing that you need to know right so damam shubhaks later on in the case where the planet is in normal rashi in d1 chart gets exalted or debilitated in the namam chart because the condition in d1 chart is normal condition normal condition means friendly rashi nimical rashi then give preference to navamsh based condition so can i make a statement that navamsh results come later in life only absolutely not only in the case when there is a contradiction planet is exalted in rashi debilitated in navamsh debilitated in rashi exalted in navamsh i can only say 
then the result of navamsha will come later on and earlier the result of rashi chart will come but in a normal case where the planet is either in friendly rashi or inimical rashi in the d1 chart or exalted debilitated etc in navamsha now because the condition of the rashi chart is normal navamsha remains activated right from birth so making such a statement such as navamsha works in later part of life is erroneous ridiculous okay now the retrograde planet is only a prominent planet not necessarily a positive planet so you say if someone is having a retrograde venus in an inimical sign or a retrograde venus in debilitated navamsha etc in that particular scenario because venus is negative and venus indicates relationship wife spouse person will suffer in relationships will get in association with people of bad nature behavior character etc that will happen that will also happen if the venus is in the same rashi without being retrograde the difference that retrograde will create that because retrograde planet is powerful this person will go into relationship very often so in normal cases if venus is going into inimical rashi debilitation in rashi or navamsh it means a weak venus negative venus that will means there are few relationships and even the few relationships that are there they are negative when this same venus is retrograde it it does indicate that relationships are negative relationships are bad the spouse partner girlfriend boyfriend is negative but because the planet is powerful venus is powerful by being retrograde the relationships are not few the relationships are not delayed in fact relationships are many person goes into relationship one after another all these relationships are bad but because venus is powerful person is not able to learn a lesson so these people will generally tell you the story that sir i have been in four relationships all the four relationships have been very problematic all the four people were having issues with themselves are bhai you know that the person are having issues then why you choose the same person again why you choose someone with the same nature behavior character over and over again right this is happening because retrogression of the planet because retro as i told you retrograde planet is chestably you you have a lot of desire related to planet you want to do things related by planet over and over again and in this process you are very much susceptible to do the same mistake over and over again if the retrograde planet is becoming negative right this is something that you have to understand just being one point okay apart from this one more point i will add like few most important things the purpose of making this video my intention behind making this video is if i see a retrograde planet in a horoscope what principles will quickly come to my mind that i will apply in the consultation and make the prediction that's the purpose of the video right so accordingly i am making it another point is that you see a retrograde planet being a powerful planet gives multiplicity So, if the fourth lord is retrograde, it will give you multiple property. Fifth lord is retrograde, it will give you multiple children. Seventh lord is retrograde, it will give you multiple spouse. That's one point. Now, in this case, the question is: if fourth lord is retrograde, but in a bad condition, it will give you multiple properties one after another, where you will sell the previous property or will have to leave the previous property because it is not good. That's one thing. fourth lord is retrograde in a good condition in that scenario you have multiple properties as in you live in one property and other properties also you have right so that actually gives opulence right retrograde planet gives you multiplicity and that if in a good condition gives you opulence you know great finances resources as well on the other hand when the planet is retrograde but in a bad condition it actually makes you troubled in the other example you take seventh lord is retrograde it will indicate multiple relationships now this retrograde seventh lord is in a good condition then person have a good lovely supportive spouse but despite that person goes into extramarital affairs and all of that because the person have a lot of desire right so one wife at home one affair in office one affair in a coffee shop etc these scenarios are there on the other hand when the seventh lord is retrograde but in a bad condition in that scenario person goes through multiple relationships but because of suffering the person goes to first relationship that does not work out goes to another relationship that does not work out gets married that turns into a divorce gets married again the spouse leaves them etc so this way the differentiation should be made and the additional point that i am making here is that retrograde planet and for that matter any powerful planet does indicate multiplicity now depending on the house lorded by the planet things signified by the planet in which area the multiplicity will be there that should be understood and should be interpreted accordingly right 
Now one, two additional points are there before I come to one major point. If a malefic, naturally malefic Saturn, Mars, two natural malefic planets can be retrograde. Rahu is always retrograde and never becomes retrograde. Right. So the principles does not apply to Rahu, Ketu or Sun. Saturn, Mars are natural malefics and they can become retrograde also. When natural malefics become retrograde, they give useless wanderings to native. Now useless wandering in earlier time, let's understand it this way. The person believes that take, take an ancient Indian setup. The person believes that I will go to the king. I will ask for something. The king will give it to me. Or I will go to some person will propose him an idea. He will give me investment. He will give me employment and things like that. People will think this, they will go to the king or minister or anyone will give their idea and either will get the employment will give their proposal, either will get the employment, will get the offer, or at least the person will keep regard of that. At least he has came. Let me help him. Let's let me do something. You go to a powerful person. That is the general case. Useless wandering is that the person thinks I will go to the king. I will give him this idea. The king will take the idea, will employ me to work on it. Right. All will give me some reward. The person goes to the king. The king does not become happy. Right. The things does not turn out to go the way he's thinking. And in this way, it turns to useless wandering. Right. Nowadays, person is thinking that here I am not getting a job in village. I will go to Bangalore. I, there I will get a job. Now, retrograde malefic indicates useless wandering. That's the point. So retrograde malefic dasha is running. You are very much troubled. First of all, the basic point is you will do useless renderings when you, when the things, the original setup in your life is not working the way you expect them to work. Right. So initial problems, it will give you mental tension, mental trouble. It will give you, you will feel not supported. You will feel that you are not getting rewarded enough as compared to your hard work and all sort of thinkings will come into your mind. First of all. So first of all, you will suffer. Then you will think about wandering that I will shift to Bangalore. I will get a good job and all of these things you will want to do. You will do that, but you will remain unsuccessful in this way. It will become useless wandering. Right? So re malefic retrograde does indicate useless wandering. First of all, as the dasha comes, it will give you a feeling of that you are not getting enough, not getting respected enough, you know, not getting rewarded enough and all of these things, such tendencies. You should be rational, practical, and should think over it. I am not saying don't do it or don't fall for it. But first of all, at least rationally think. Secondarily, keep in mind that your ideas regarding you will go to this place. Good will happen. You will go to foreign land. Good will happen. You will get settled. You will find people. This, this, this will happen. All your thoughts of the mind ideas plan may not work the expected way. If a retrograde malefic is activated in horoscope or is prominent in horoscope, right? The is running. The planet is getting power of time or the natural fructification is of the planet is coming. You are going into that age. Your psyche is like that planet. And if that is the age of a natural malefic, then in that particular scenario, such useless renderings can happen. Your ideas may not work the desired way you are expecting them to work. So what you will do, you will have plan A, B, C, D altogether that if this does not work, I will do this. If that does not work, I will do this and all sort of things, right? So you see Dasha of a retrograde planet is running. Someone tells you that you sell your property, take the money and you know, purchase this property. I will tell you first you sell your property. Then we will purchase this property. You will get it on a discounted rate. Don't sell your property, right? Don't burn your bridge because useless wandering is indicated by this planet. Acquire the other thing, acquire the better option before you leave your current situation. Otherwise it will be problematic. Regarding natural fructifications, only two malefics can be retrograde mass, natural fructification at the age of 28, Saturn natural fructification at the age of 30 to 36. Right. So if Saturn is retrograde at the age of 30 to 36 and around these ages, don't burn your bridges. Right. Useless renderings can happen. And in the case of Mars retrograde at the age of 28, useless renderings, etc., can happen. Be careful, plan things accordingly. Right. The best remedy is planning things accordingly. The best remedy is understanding the results that the planet is creating and behaving accordingly. Right. There is no reason there is no remedy better than this. Planning, execution, change of thought, change of approach is the best and the foremost remedy that you can do, that you should do. Right. Let's understand this point very, very clearly. Okay. 
one more thing i will want to mention if a retrograde planet is in any house and another malefic planet is influencing it then the person indicated by that house is very troublesome troublesome as in the person is very disrespectful hateful towards you or the person suffers so much in their life that they start causing you suffering for example say malefic retrograde in fourth house suspected by another malefic conjoined by another malefic who may not be retrograde but is a malefic in that case either the mother is very vicious mother stops the progress of the native the advice etc of the mother is very much self centered that the you know progress success happiness contentment settlement of the native is delayed or denied altogether this is the case when the fourth lord is powerful or when the fourth lord is weak then in that scenario the condition of mother itself is so bad so pathetic that you will have to give your time money mental peace and all of that to your mother right ignoring your wife children father and all others your job social status etc you will have to take care of your mother which can be problematic right so this is a predictive part now whether it is good to leave your job and serve your mother is good or not that i leave upon you whatever you think and right? people may have personal choices right but this is what it does indicate so seventh house there is a retrograde planet which is influenced by another malefic or there is a malefic planet in the seventh house influenced by a retrograde malefic in that scenario spouse life partner can be very very problematic very troublesome right torturing beating humiliating blackmailing right such uh, very negative traits can be there in the personality of the life partner be very careful while choosing now you know these bad traits are in the personality of the life partner what you will do when you get married when you go into a relationship check the horoscope of the other person to see that if this person can have such negative tendencies if they can have because you also have the bad combination of suffering don't be in relationship with them save yourself if the other person is not having such combination then you can be in relationship right that is the basic purpose why do you see a map to see if the road is closed or not because if the road is closed you will take an alternate route or plan your journey accordingly you will give some extra time to your reaching knowing that there is a jam and there will be a delay right so deal astrology in the same way don't become hopeless i have to well fix in the seven thousand what will happen with me will someone marry me blah 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 right if four road if four roads lead to a destination and two roads are under construction non usable then can you not reach the destination ask yourself don't talk like a foolish person right so this is something that you have to understand this approach you have to develop in astrology right that multiple things are there right seventh house seventh lord significator venus how many of them are afflicted if venus is good Whereas seventh house, seventh lord is afflicted, it does mean that make a choice based on Venus, right? So choose life partner in the direction that is indicated by Venus. Choose the type of life partner that is indicated by Venus because Venus is good. You will be more inclined towards choosing a life partner as for the seventh house, seventh lord because that is afflicted and it is a natural tendency of the mind to go towards negativity. So this is where you have to control. This is where you have to execute. a higher level of self control to change your destiny change your fortune that is making a consigns that, that, that is making a powerful decision that is making a strong decision which will change everything in your life that is the way to success right you have to understand it this thing that i have just explained you is another big thing right this big thing is realized by those people who are actually successful you see the people who are successful in life will realize what i have just said and the importance of the word people who are unsuccessful or very young to be successful they will not realize it right so i i'm i'm giving you an advice that i have you know observed from uh, that that i have observed from the life of many successful people this you have to this is the only way to change your life this you have to apply now the very very special point regarding which i i was you know wanting to make this video so astronomically if you understand sun is there earth is there outer planets mars saturn jupiter 
remain combust when they are earth is here this is sun they are combust when the planet is behind sun so sun is between earth and the planet so in this case i say that in this case i say that if a planet is combust the result of the planet is realized by sun because the planet is behind sun and you from earth can see sun cannot see the planet so the result of planet is manifested by sun this is what i say this is my original research and this is very great you know how to read horoscope you read 10 horoscopes you will understand how great this is okay this planet will become retrograde when he is just opposite outer planet mars jupiter uh, uh, saturn will become retrograde when they are just opposite to sun so what is happening sun is there earth is there the planet is after earth right so basically between the planet and the sun earth is coming so in this way two things happen now the person is standing on earth because the planet outer planet is just the opposite side of sun can either see the sun or can either see the planet so one thing happen that if mars saturn or jupiter is retrograde and if you focus at these planets then they will take you away from sun right whatever is the significations etc of sun in the horoscope of the person for an example you say a leo lagna native is having a retrograde mars now for leo lagna native mars will be the lord of fourth house and ninth house and sun will be the lord of ascendant so if you focus if you live in your you say if you give more focus to mars to fourth house and ninth house if the person tries to live with parents etc then the result of lagna is compromised the success of the person is compromised whereas if the person lives in foreign lands gives focus to sun right then the health etc of mother and father ruled by mars fourth lord and ninth lord will be compromised this way the result should be understood the basic point is if outer planets are retrograde you can only activate one the outer planet or the sun you focus on the outer planet the significations of sun will be weak you focus on sun the signification of outer planet will be weak this so i to understand right significations for all the houses you already must be knowing if you don't know watch previous videos i have talked about them in detail okay one point secondarily because earth is between the sun and the planet you say the earth is causing problem to the planet the earth is causing an eclipse when sitting on a planet if you try to see sun because earth is between the sun and the planet you will see sun eclipse because earth is coming in between you live on earth right we live on earth you need my i also live on earth so we live on earth so you see if this planet is very afflicted outer retrograde planet that can be only saturn mars jupiter if they are very much afflicted in horoscope it indicates that whatever people they are indicating these people can suffer now because earth is causing an eclipse to sun as seen from these planets this suffering can be caused by us also for example you see saturn is combust as fifth lord sorry i yeah, am sorry saturn is retrograde as fifth lord and is quite afflicted so because fifth lord is afflicted the success happiness of the children can be curtailed can be compromised and this can be compromised because of us because of the native because of the over invention over intervention of the native over discipline of the native because of the bad advice of native so keeping that in mind if there is a retrograde outer planet jupiter mars saturn in your horoscope whichever house is ruled by those planets the relatives indicated by those houses try to interfere least in the lives of these people for their betterment and for your betterment also otherwise you will get blamed and that's problematic for interior planets mercury and venus they are 
between their their orbit is between the orbit of earth and sun so they are behind sun is a superior conjunction then their orbit go eastwards in the front of sun they reach their maximum duration then they start coming westward sun takes over them in between they come between earth and sun this is inferior conjunction they continue going backwards reach to the maximum of their orbit then they go in the other direction and start going towards the sun so this particular this complete process i will illustrate sun is here earth is here and this is the orbit of you say this venus mercury now when the venus mercury is behind sun they are at superior conjunction when they are conjoined with sun between the earth and the sun they are it is inferior conjunction so after superior conjunction venus mercury is going in this particular direction they seem to be direct while crossing through this line they seems to be stationary then as they are going in this particular direction and sun is moving in this particular direction they seem to be retrograde in this retrograde they will do this inferior conjunction then they continue to go backwards till here here till this time they will look like retrograde this is the particular reason mercury venus are seen retrograde for maximum time little bit at this point they will look like stationary then they will go on the other side and will start progressing with sun there they will be direct of course sun will never look stationary uh, sun will never become retrograde because first of all sun is not moving we are doing astrology from earth so we think that sun is moving because we are observing from earth actually earth is moving sun is not moving so sun does not go through changes in motion sun always remains direct right the movement of sun that you see in horoscope is not the movement of sun is actually the movement of earth and because retrogression is an apparent motion and you are sitting on earth we are sitting on earth we cannot see earth itself so earth apparently cannot go retrograde the calculation of earth is the calculation of sun in astrology that's why sun does not go retrograde right so two things about mercury venus also you see mercury venus become retrograde when in their orbit they come between the earth and sun right so when mercury and venus are retrograde in your horoscope the result of sun is realized by mercury venus for example you say libra ascendant native sun is 11th house lord say say, say this sun is making dhan yog and mercury is retrograde so sun is making dhan yog libra ascendant native mercury is retrograde the result of sun will be realized through mercury and mercury is lord of 9000 12000 so the dhan yog that the sun is making will be realized through the significations of 12th house investment and through 9th house through father or government job or guru gain of money will happen through father government job or guru or gain of money will happen through investments because when venus and mercury are retrograde the result of sun is given by venus mercury other hand you say if the sun is making a dhru yoga bad combination leading to loss of power and venus and uh, venus or mercury is retrograde in your horoscope then people and events signified by the houses owned by venus or mercury will cause loss of power why because the result of sun will be brought out by mercury and venus in the case they are retrograde that's one point right this you have to understand because their orbit is coming between the orbit of earth and sun right one more thing is there in the inferior conjunction when the moon uh, where the mercury and the venus is between earth and sun it is almost like an eclipse though it is not visible but it is almost like an eclipse so what is happening now see this venus and mercury are not as bright as sun right no planet can cause eclipse to sun right because they are not as bright as sun so sun will always be the brighter one and because they are because the sun is very big as compared to mercury and venus right 
like sun is this big mercury is this big so this big mercury goes in front of sun it will look very small you say this eclipse cannot happen rahu ketu can cause eclipse because they are not planets right they are points in the zodiac so they don't have a mass or body so they can cover the complete sun right that that is happen through that is happening through reflection of light other planets cannot cause it because they are smaller than sun right sun is a star not a planet very big but still because venus and mercury are coming in front of sun right while seen from earth in the case when mercury and venus are retrograde owing to this particular reason in horoscopes where mercury and venus is retrograde generally whatever is the good result or bad result that is given by sun in the horoscope where venus and mercury is retrograde the result the good result is first enjoyed by those people signified by mercury venus and bad result is first suffered by those people signified by mercury venus for example you say in a horoscope venus is retrograde and sun indicates bad health now because venus is retrograde and sun is indicating bad health before you suffer with bad health your spouse will suffer with bad health right so the result of the sun will first come to venus if venus is retrograde or first come to mercury if mercury is retrograde the result will come to which person which areas of life should be decided by the houses lauded by mercury venus or things naturally signified by mercury venus so these two two principles two principles for outer planets and two principles for internal planets regarding retrogression based on how astronomically retrogression is happening is what i wanted to share in this particular video these are very great techniques right the po point is that basic astronomical understanding is very important in astrology if you don't do that there will be problems right because astrology is built upon astrology astronomy right so this was the principle i wanted to share i have extensively tested it it works very well and i hope that you will also use it in your practice and it, if it improves your practice i will feel amply rewarded thank you